What's up, party people? Today, I'm pitting the Milwaukee M12 hammer drill and impact driver against the Milwaukee M18 fuel impact driver and hammer drill. And we'll find out, do you really need 18 volts? <laughs> Three, two, one. In life, when it comes to just about anything, more power is better except for government. I mean, you never heard Scotty say, Captain, we need less power. Even though I do love my M12 and they have been amazing, I recently broke down and made a purchase to buy the M18 set of Milwaukee hammer drill and impact driver. On the M18 fuel hammer drill alone, Milwaukee claims that it can have as much as 60% more ooga doogas than the competition. Now, do Uga Dugas count when it comes to hammer drills and impact drivers, or is that just impact wrenches? I don't know. For the first battle, I'm gonna pit the two hammer drills against each other. Now, is this a fair fight? Probably not. I've got a five amp hour battery on the M18 and a four amp hour battery on the M12. Now, amp hours really just kind of correlate to how long the battery will stay charged. But um, I guess theoretically, <laughs> I'm not a scientist but it can provide a little bit more power. So, you know, this ain't scientific. We're just gonna run through this. I've got a bunch of different implements. I've got drill bits, I've got screws. Who could ask for anything more? Anyway, we're gonna start this out pretty simple with, you know, some number two square drive, three inch wood screws into a four by four. And let's see which one will put it in there the fastest. I'm gonna try to run through these fairly quickly. All right, M12 set to two speed. Drill function, let's go. Three, two, one. Pretty quick. But will the M18 do it even faster? I had that on hammer drill function. Was it faster? We'll have to look at the tape. But Adam, what about a half inch paddle bit? Well, to you I say, Let's find out what happens. This joker is brand spanking new M12 first. Which one goes through the four x four the fastest? Three, two, one. M18. Drill function. Three, two, one. What's the tape say? What's that? You say that's not big enough. How about a one and a half inch? I just pulled my nail backwards, that sucks. <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta lay off the caffeine. Okay, one and a half inch. Pay no attention to my horrific chainsaw injury. Man, that is, neck, that is gross. To keep this thing together, I think it required, what was it, Kim? Four, yeah, four Band-Aids. Okay, let's go. I'm bleeding. One and a half inch. Let's, let's change it up. Let's go with the M18 first. Here we go in three, two, one. I lost the bit. That's a clean hole. I like that. That's nice. M12, this thing could go flying. Three, two, one. Oh, it will. Oh. A clear winner on this one? Let's see if we can finish this. All right, there we go. Lost the bit again. Another beautiful one and a half inch hole from the paddle bit. Oh, thanks. This is the only band aid we have, huh? Yep. This is 
so sweet. Uh, that's, that's pretty. I like that. At the rate I'm going, I'm barely into the video, got an injury. Let's go ahead and put some safety glasses on. And let's open up this brand new two inch Forstner bit. Don't cut your finger at them. Don't do it. I'm gonna start out with the M12 for the two inch Forstner bit. And I'm only gonna sink it down to flush with the top of it. Are we ready? Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna stop right there for a second. I'm gonna put it on the one speed and see if this will actually help this. That's a no. Try it again. battery have I got left on here? Still at three, three bars of battery and I didn't quite get that flush. All right, let's try the M18. Obviously we have a winner there. Now I probably didn't have this quite, uh, down on here good enough because it was slipping in the chuck there, but that's probably my fault. Obviously this is not fair. You're not really ever gonna use a 12 volt to do these things, but I just kind of want to test out and see what happens. You know, I've used these M12 tools for on like projects like the, the whiskey barrel planners, you know, hanging the string lights around the patio. Uh, I used it to cut the holes um, in the fire pit and this drill with the one battery cut all of those holes, if you go back and watch that video, every hole in that fire pit, except for the last four on one battery, on one Milwaukee hole saw. So uh, these things are monsters. Now, I'm like I said, I'm pushing it to its limit and pushing it past it, what it's supposed to be used for. But, you know, so I'm not trying to make these look bad because these things are freaking awesome. Oh, let's do the hammer drill test. We're gonna start off with this quarter inch masonry bit and the M18. Let's put it in hammer function and let's go to town. Let's try the M12. Honestly, I think that might have been faster. Could have been a softer spot in the concrete, but let's step it up. Let's bump up to a half inch. M18. M12. How about a little impact driver action? And just for giggles, I'm gonna use the two amp hour battery on the M12 because I'm letting the other one top off, even though it's actually still at three bars. Let's start off with something simple like a two and a half inch by half inch lag screw. And by the way, these are lag screws. People always wanna to try to correct me in the comments. This is a lag screw, a lag bolt 
requires a nut, okay? But oftentimes people call these lag bolts, but this is a lag screw. Anywho, let's go ahead and see what happens. Two and a half inches, is this two and a half inches? This is, yeah, it's two and a half inches, okay. Two and a half inches, M12, and go. All right, let's try it with the M18. Three, two, one. Okay, I don't even know if there's any point in doing this, but let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's go with a six inch. Six inches. Now, I should point out, obviously, normally when you're using a lag screw, you're going to pre-drill for them. But I'm not, because I want to see what happens. Should we even try this with the M12? I don't want to blow my tools, but... Yeah, we are. This may be a complete waste of time, but anyway, I've got the four amp hour battery back on here. And let's go. All right, I think that's about as far as it's gonna go. Still, that's pretty dang impressive. Let's cool our jets for a little bit. I've actually got new batteries in both impact drivers and let's just, let's, let's simplify. Let's, let's run these number 16 by four inch screws into this four by four. And these are just <laughs> Phillips head. I mean, you know, they didn't have square drive. What can I say? Let's go. Oh, all right, so that didn't, Filthy Phillips drive made me go in crooked. All right. Well, they both went in crooked. <laughs> I'm hitting something in there. There must be a knot in there that's driving it. But obviously the M18 went in faster. I'm gonna try these speed tip speed bore bits by Irwin. I've got a half inch and inch and a quarter. Let's try the half inch first. M12. Dang, that went through there really fast. I couldn't just pull it out though, I had to back it out. Okay, let's go with the M18. Inch and a quarter. On the M18. Can you see what that thing looks like? Here we go. All right, so I just took it down to the paint right there. Let's try the M18. Yeah, pretty big difference. Got a sheet of three quarter inch exterior plywood that you need to drill a hole in. Sure, let's give that a shot with a hole saw and let's go back to the drills. I'm gonna be using these Milwaukee hole dozer hole saws. This is a two and an eighth inch. And I should mention that I am not sponsored by Milwaukee. However, if somebody from Milwaukee is watching this, call me. If you like DeWalt or Makita or whatever, knock yourself out. Whenever you're drilling holes with a hole saw, of course, if you want to drill nice, neat holes, normally the way you do it is you start on one side. As soon as the bit 
protrudes through the other side, you, you turn around, flip it over, and then you get a nice clean cut. I'm not doing that. I'm just going all the way through. And I'm starting off with my M12. Set. Go. M18. In three, two, one. <laughs> Which drill was faster? You tell me. Don't take any of this video as a review and certainly don't learn how to operate drills or impact drivers by watching this video because I have thoroughly abused these things uh, in a short period of time. It all depends on what you want to do. I work on some fairly heavy duty projects around here and these M12s have been phenomenal. But I've got some bigger projects coming up and uh, I needed, you know, or I felt like I might need some more power. And uh, I think these are gonna fit the build. Do you need 12 volt or do you need 18 volt? Probably for most of you, 12 volt will be fine. See you next time.